Hey guys, we're gonna check out this game called Call of the Sea. This is on Xbox Series X. We're gonna check it out. It seemed interesting enough. Seems almost like a point and click adventure game for what I recall. Has a interesting, unique little premise. Look, we're on an island. Um, the Call of the Sea, guys. So yeah, let's check it out for a little bit. We're gonna give like an initial impressions. This came out quite a bit ago. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to actually cover it in a full review. But better late than never with actually playing it, right? And checking it out. Um, this might interest some of you guys. Um, I know it perked my interest enough to where I was like, all right, let's check it out. So, prologue, a family heirloom. So, yeah, look at this. I'm underwater. I thought it was more of a point and click, but I guess, is it first person? Huh. Interesting. I am under the water. All right. Huh. Color me impressed. I know this place. I've been here before. All right. Am I about to wake up? Am I in the water? I've been here my entire life. What's going on? I'm trapped in here. So it's gonna be one of those mystery like like the story guides you and it's all metaphorical and symbolic. I'm like in a sunken room with some stairs. Alright. What's this? It's a music box. Alright, we're awake. Oh. Wow. I was not expecting it to be a first person game like this. Well, I have been missing out. How come nobody's been talking about this game? I think this is only on Xbox. This reminds me of um, of that one game. Um, God, what is it? It was on a ship. I played it not too long ago. Layers of Fear 2. Thank you so much, Captain Hodgson. I'll be right out. Alright, here we go. Alright, time to gather my things. Wow. What was I thinking when I brought all these dresses on the... I received a mysterious oh. package at my house. I stored all its contents in my locked suitcase. Okay. I get behind this. <sighs> to cover up my hands before I leave the cabin. I wouldn't want anyone thinking I'm a circus freak. All right. Ah, the amazing adventures of Nora Everhart, our teacher. Oh. Uh, I, I have the worst memory. I can't I open that. The combination again. Is it in my journal? Oh, goodness, I always bring my job after spending so much time reading this book. Five oh six. About Polynesian culture. Five. Five oh six. Right, now it's open. This strange and sharp relic came in the package I received. Ah. Harry Everhart, my husband, my partner, and my dear old pal. I saw this island in one of my... So this island I saw in a dream? Well, it's not exactly a cold run but you can't always get what you want. Wow, okay, I am... I'm gonna have to live stream this one day. Okay, 
Okay, Nora. I am I am pretty much sold on this. I mean, I just started this game, but I was not expecting it to be a first person like exploration game like this with like a narrative. I just gained an achievement in uh in gamepad. And that was just the prologue. Holy smokes. Color me impressed. I'm like, oh man, I'm sold. <laughs> My goodness, look at this. Look at this game! Wow! Alright. I am... I'm pretty set on this game. So we're on an island and we're, we're having to explore. We're looking for a, like a, a man that we have a bond with, a relationship with. We just started this. This feels so much like an adventure, guys. Holy crap. <laughs> I I feel bad that I couldn't fully review this. But I'm definitely going to have to live stream this. I am definitely going to have to check this game out. Alright. Okay, so we're looking for Harry. So somebody was on this island recently. A miniature Va'a. Polynesian outrigger canoe. Beautifully crafted too. Alright. Um that's a Vivo. A flute that the Polynesians play with on nose. I will be dead. Alright, so Oh, here we go. Note. A note a note written in French. I only understand two words, ill and mort. Island and death. It must be a warning. Island the dangers of the death. island. This machete is completely worn down. The blade is dull. Yikes. I did not know this was going to be... Someone has been chopping down palm trees. A lot of them. Maybe to build something. Am I able to run? No, it doesn't seem like there's a run button. I know it's just resonance, but... Alright, so that this door looks like it's closed. I feel okay, here we go. Quite good. I dare say I might even walk a little faster than usual. So are these like warning signs like on Resident Evil 4 or I feel like I'm gonna just step into a trap and. They look peaceful, but clearly somebody wants to keep out. What a lovely flower offering! I feel like I'm just gonna end up stepping on something and dying. All right, so there's definitely a lot of. These wooden figures are called Unu. This seems to be telling a story. This box, C W. Those are the initials on the brass key. All right, brass key time. It opens it. So whoever sent me this key was here. Okay. So. Hmm. This is starting to look like a scavenger carving tool. Wow. From what I've read, the Polynesians don't need doors. So why build such a big one? Well, that did something. That did do something. Hmm. Something's missing here. Okay, so it showed the flower. Showed something in the ground. Right here. Up oh, there we go. Well, look what's hidden here. Let's take that baby. All right, I'm digging this. I can get into something like this. It reminds me of other games I've played, like layers of fear and other things like that where there's like mystery and puzzle solving honestly i wasn't expecting to be i mean it's, it's still a point and click but when i heard it was a point and click i didn't think it was gonna be first person like this i thought it was gonna be like a, a 2d it also kind of reminds me of firewatch a little bit
Harry. And is that Amelia Everhart? Interesting. So the crew's missing on this. So there's a lot of different weird things going on. Alright. <laughs> I'm just following random paths. <laughs> seeing if I could find something new. What is this? Rays of sunlight shining through. Another symbol. Huh. All right, Aunt Rasin. <laughs> All right. And I thought Colorado was too far from home when we moved there. Now that I've crossed half the world, I wouldn't mind crossing the other half. But I have to do it with you, old pal. Old pal, I love that noise. Oh my, this is so beautiful. Wow, look at this. <laughs> look where these birds All right, the voice actor's are. good. The narration and the voice acting. There are lorikeet feathers scattered around this uni. I'll draw the symbol in my journal. All right. So, definitely looks like a little bit of a of a dead end. This looks like the original gate that I was at, right here. Nice, shortcuts are always. Right, so we went back to where we were at the beginning. We made a shortcut open. We're gonna enter another doorway. Um, I'm, I'm definitely digging this. This is something that I'm probably going to try to stream These through. Seem to represent the sea. I'll make a note of them in my journal. My looks like I'm uh taking a lot of journal notes to solve the mystery of this island. See, I'm digging the the art style. Like it's it has a cartoony vibe, but at the same time it doesn't. You know what I mean? Like I could I could definitely get behind it. Definitely a lot of mystery when it comes to this game. Harry said that he would go to the end of the world to find a cure. And by the looks of it, he wasn't lying. Yeah, this sure is we'd never lie to each other. the end of the, the world. We started dating, <laughs> no matter how harsh the truth. So my boyfriend just like up and vanished or like, like, like what's going on in this? That's what it seems to be like. All right, so we just did another lap. And this reminds me of those slot machines that hang on the side of the Atlantic City Club. What a combination of the What I'm thinking. But I'm thinking it's something to do with the journal. One, two, three. So the sun. I gotta solve the rest of that puzzle. Seems like I'm missing some more stuff. So we'll, we'll continue this way. And we'll look. I didn't come this way, so. What a beautiful mountainous landscape. Wrote that down. Look at this little hut. This old pond is a Polynesian fishing technique. There's another symbol inside it.
I don't remember if I did come this way. Okay. Three, four, five. So I'm thinking I just got to do whatever that. It's a puzzle, of course. <laughs> it's just, what order of the puzzle do we put this thing on for the bridge? Okay, so the mountain, sun, sun, mountain, bird, water, fish. So... That's what I'm thinking. Sun. Mountain. Bird. Water. Hey. Right? Or is it... Mount... Sun mountain sun bird there we go see I, I got the idea I play Resident Evil and Legend of Zelda <laughs> I know I'm not that complete of a moron guys I got my stuff I'm digging the hell out of this, guys. Honestly, wow. Like, look at this. Wow. Alright, so I think we should leave a to be continued on this. Um, my first impressions of this is this totally caught me off guard. I was not expecting a first person adventure mystery type of game that has a good narration. This is something that I'm going to have to live stream. Thanks a lot for watching, guys.